Now, I've put the roses there. I've got them nice and handy. I've got my micro rhizome. We put the compost down, as I showed you earlier. And I think if I look at that rose here, and I've, I'm gonna dig a hole here, which if you look at it, five feet alone, it's two feet away, which is quite adequate for a large growing rose. So let's dig a hole here. Soil's not bad, because I said we have dug it up before. Um, bit of root down here, because there are trees behind me, as you can see. And you can see that what's happening, that the compost is getting mixed in with the soil as I dig it. So, oh, something a bit hard down there, isn't it? You won't worry about that. Oh yes, we will, we'll dig it out. Bit of old crock. Now, have we dug a big enough hole? Well, I just go across and get a rose. Now, people always think that you've got to have the hole that deep, but <laughs> that deep, but you haven't, because remember that a rose spreads its roots. Now that's got a nicely spread root, you're looking at the soil level being about there, below that crown there. So that's just about right. Now we've got nice damp roots. So we get the micro rhizome, tear the top of that. We will pick that rubbish up after. It's self seal, and this will do about three roses. And what we do is we put a bit like that. And it's on the roots, it's sticking to the roots. We'll leave that for the next ones. And now we're back to just holding that rose. We've got enough soil around it. There's a bit of compost. There's a bit of soil. And now are we deep enough? We might not be. I think we're just about right, I think. Yep, just about, I think. So I will just put my boot. This isn't how they tell you in the book, but it's how King Crowther does it. And there you go. We're just above. Push it down a bit more, a bit more, a bit more soil around it. And there, and don't go fussing over it. That is a rose, it's done, it's in the ground. Get on to the next one. And let's face it, I better, because I've got quite a few to plant in this bit. <laughs>